Hello, this is the John Deere X739, and in front here we have the John Deere LP48004 uh, Thatcher, and then the Thatcher Extensions LP48003. And what makes this unique is it's not on any sort of thing you've ever seen from John Deere. Um, this is a custom bracket. I'll leave the link to the company that does it out of Minnesota. Um, but if you have a quick hitch already for your tractor, um, as you're about to see, this is going to hold it down in place amazingly well. Uh, make it incredibly simple to take on and off and make it work better than it does normally from John Deere. So here we go. So this is the John Deere 739 with the front thatcher attachment. Normally it goes on a bracket that John Deere has, which makes it basically useless. Uh, anyone who's worked with a thatcher knows that they clog up right away. Uh, the toe-behind kind are really ridiculous because you can put bricks on them that bounce right back off. The big cinder blocks, you can try tying them down and they are going to just go... <laughs> Uh, right underneath it um, and at the end of every run you need to clean out the thatcher again and it's a nightmare so um, there's a man in Minnesota that has a solution that it's this bracket that allows you to connect um, the thatcher and actually it's not a thatcher don't know why it's called that it doesn't make thatch it's a dethatcher but whatever um, and here's some of the key things about it. Uh, the screws that you use to set it are adjustable. We're going to get them adjusted before we're all done. Um, these wheels at the front, it's not even in the manual, but these set screws are really important. You want to have it set so that the wheel is just touching, just as the tines are just touching, um, that you're going to be using. So, uh, taking it on and off now that we have this cool setup you set your uh, lower hydraulic level to float which means pull it all the way forward and okay before I could even get there it had already dropped down and it is in fact in float position now uh, I'm gonna lock it there and if I pull the pins on this it's just like having your snow thrower on or whatever other attachments you work with. Um, now it, I'm going to have to do this one handed so it's going to be a little more interesting than normal, but it just rolls right away. And then the quick hitch on the front is just like it normally would. Uh, you're going to use the raise and lower feature. Um, it's the same hitch as you would use for your snow thrower or your uh, rotary broom or um, your snow blade or the little bucket attachment you can get from John Deere to turn your blade into a little bucket. Um, some key messages here is you should only wear safety glasses, only wear hearing protection, uh, always wear gloves and all the rest and we will be showing how to uh, do all this let's see how good we can put the video together but really the key thing is where this hitch is this bracket um, which costs less by the way than the thing that doesn't work from John Deere uh, which would put a big old handle coming up kind of where this handle is right now for my snow thrower adjustment where I can uh, set how high the snow throw goes. Um, I don't want more levers connected to my tractor and I had them on a previous one and they don't work because it doesn't hold it down. Now some things you're also going to see is what about float? That as you're driving along is this going to be able to rise and fall with the with your earth 
um, you're going to see a lot of terrain, and it does. It's going to go up and down really nicely. Um, the wheels are plenty heavy duty enough for this. And then I'm going to show you the trick to keeping your tines clean at the end of every pass. In literally five seconds, you're going to have the whole thing clean again without having to uh, get off the tractor and clean it out with a pitchfork. So here we go. for some adjustments. Uh, if you can see right here, one is higher than the other, and that's to make it so that the pins, the tines, all are sitting level. So, nice thing about this setup is you can adjust it like that. Other thing is, they don't show this in the manual at all, but something really important to know is that you have a set screw, and so what this is set to is when the pins are just on the ground, this is snug right in that spot, holding the wheel so it can't go up or down. Um, but now I'm going to just make sure, yep, all the way around, we're looking good. Uh, but now, ready to go back out there.